Hi there, and welcome back to another MailMate tutorial video. My name is Matt Petrowski. I'm a MailMate user and a big time enthusiast. In this video, we're taking a look at the topic of personalized views, seeing your mail the way that you like to see it. So as I open up MailMate here, what we're mostly interested in is seeing our mail the way that we want to see it, but having that be a little bit different depending on what we're looking at. One of the biggest advantages of MailMate is that every single folder, that's smart mailboxes and regular mailboxes, have their own unique view that you can customize. And all of this is remembered by the MailMate preferences. So it's a good idea to have Time Machine on or some type of backup process that backs up your MailMate preference file. Now what I have here is pretty much my standard go-to view. What I do is I right click on the headers. I like to see the date received, but I also like to see the date received relative. It allows me to have a good sense of how long ago it was that I actually got this particular piece of email. You can see that right here where I've got date received relative right next to the regular date received. So I can see that even though this was 12-28, uh, 16, maybe I don't know that I'm two days away from that and I really don't want to figure it out. So I'll put the date received relative right next to it and it tells me this came in two days ago. Very helpful. I also like to see, because I use tags, my different icon tag options. So anything that I've explicitly tagged with a priority, which isn't going to show in my mailbox right here because I'm already flagging it as priority, but maybe I do want to see it. I'll just modify my inbox and take off the priority. I should be able to see those priorities on in my inbox. Well, they didn't quite show up, so I'd have to tweak that smart mailbox for some reason. But basically, this is my go-to setup. Now the key thing here is, as I stated, each mailbox or each folder actually has its own settings. So even though I've specified on my mailbox to show date received relative and date received, when I go to the inbox folder, you can see that it, it does not have the icons nor does it have the date received relative. But that's a great thing for me. It doesn't need to be the same for all of my different folders. Sometimes, I like to actually look at, at least when it comes to the all messages folder, I like to know where mail is actually coming from. And that's because the way that my personal mail mate is set up, as I mentioned in my introduction video, I have about eight different accounts. And some of those accounts have multiple aliases of the addresses. So my primary account has actually 10 different aliases. That's like Matt at ISO Productions, Matt at FileMaker Magazine, Matt at QWERTY.com, Matt at this. I'm able to send out of one Gmail account using a bunch of different aliases. So what's really helpful, especially when you're dealing with filters and as a power user, is to right click on our headers and actually look at our source mailbox and even our source account. Because when you're looking at all of the different mail that you have available to you, when you're looking at the all messages, it's nice to know where the mail is actually coming from. What account is it coming from and what mailbox is it coming from? And that's what helps you create your smart mailboxes so that things really make sense in terms of getting your mail filtered out and really dialed in in terms of seeing it the way that you'd like to see it. Now on top of our ability to actually have different headers on a per folder or per mailbox basis, what's really nice and helpful are these counters. But sometimes these counters, you really don't care about them. For example, in social, I'm rarely in social and I could care less unless I'm looking for specific things. If I am looking for specific things, then I've probably set up a smart mailbox that also has some rules on it. And those rules will do something to a particular message or to whatever I want the rule to do. If I have a brand new follower in Twitter and I want that action to actually cause something, then of course I can create a new rule and then I can create a new action. And that new action can be anything from moving to a mailbox, copying, redirecting, exporting, setting or removing tags, playing a sound, or our most powerful, run a command. 
If I wanted to run a command every time that a new follower came in for Twitter and that actually allowed me to trigger a script, well, that's where you get the ultimate power with automating with MailMate. But these indicators, you can set them on a per folder basis. Again, MailMate will remember everything about your folders. So when I right click here, you're going to see that I have a displayed count option. And in those we have inherit, no count, all, unread, flagged, unreplied, or recent. So in this case, if I don't wanna see how many social message messages I have, I can set it to no count. So that way when I'm scanning this sidebar area, what I see are only the counters that really mean something to me. Oh, I've got two messages in my inbox that I need to respond to. Flagged, well in that case, maybe if I take a look at the flagged, I might wanna right click that, choose a displayed count of all. Because regardless of whether I've read it or not, which if it was set to unread would only show two, by setting the flagged in particular to all messages, I know that I need to get rid of three messages. So remember, customizing these counters really is part of your whole email process. It's setting up and viewing the email the way that you need to view the email so that it helps you get done what you need to get done.